Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you tweezer man tools that I just recently got from Amazon. And I've been looking at this product for a while and finally we pulled the trigger and I bought it. So in case you're curious what the products, what the tools look like, here it is. This kit is available on amazon.com for $22 plus tax, I guess. And I got it from amazon.es and it was more money, of course. It was uh, 20 euros and with the tax was 24.50. All right, let's take a look at the tools. Okay, so this came in a little package like this. And you know, I've read quite a few reviews and people were complaining. They were actually very happy with the tools, but they were complaining about this, this little, um, this little, this little case. And I have to say they were kind of correct because this seems to be a little cracked. It came broken. Yeah, it came kind of broken. And scratched. Broke and scratched. Okay, so it came with tweezer men clippers. So the clippers are made in China. Oh yeah, here's. And they look pretty good. All right. Then the nipper and the pushy are made in India. And this came with, so initially I thought they, the kit in, contained the uh, tweezers because this looks like tweezers. So it comes with this, it comes with this little cap to protect the, the edges of the um, hangnail clippers. So make sure that you keep this and always put this back on because you don't want one hit and they're garbage. Uh, that goes for any, any tool because they have to be very, very precise. And then it came with this little mini pushy. And I actually had a chance to do my pedicure with it, like with the tools today. So I can give you a little bit more information how this performed. So it's actually good, I have to say. So this is for pushing the, the skin. And by the way, next we are going to film a manicure where I'm using these tools. So if you want to see these tools in action, we're going to include the video at the end of this video. So check it out, uh, a full manicure. So this is pretty sharp, but it's not like really, really sharp. So it's not going to scrape your nail or anything, but you still have to be a little careful. So you can use this end to gently push the skin, and then you can use this end as well and get into the corners nicely. And then you can use it sideways to kind of scrape off that skin, the cuticle. So this is stainless steel. I'm actually quite impressed. These come in a larger sizes and guess what? I'm going to buy two next. And then the last little piece, this is made in Germany. And this little tiny little file. So obviously this kit is meant to be like an emergency kit. If you're traveling and you have a little bit, um, a nail that's broken or snagging or something like that, because this would not be enough to kind of do your full manicure with. But it's good if you have any areas that need smoothing. So overall, I have to say for the money that you're paying for it, this is pretty good. I'm going to use it for a while to see how this is lasting, but I have a feeling that it's going to be quite good. So this tool, kind of going back to this, this is how you are going to use it. So this is not, and I mean, if you know, the channel, you know, I'm into very, very gentle manicures and I'm not a fan of cutting living skin. Living skin should not be cut because when it's cut, it grows back more and it gets calloused and very, very messy. But quite a few people were talking about hangnails. So this is a great tool. Honestly, um, I think it's a very important to have this because if you have a hangnail that's really bothering you and you go to pull it, you create a huge mess and if there was a hangnail in this area or a torn skin or something it's good to have something to to clip it so this would be a good tool if you wanted to get a little torn skin you would hold the tool this way there is a little indentation here i guess suggesting where to hold it right here and you could 
snip something just like this. By the way, very important thing, when you are snipping something, I see people kind of snipping something and pulling right away. And that is very, very dangerous because if some the skin is not cut and you pull it very, very um, uh, quickly, you can actually tear the skin. So very quick um, advice. If you need to clip something, you want to make sure that you clip it and then you release it and then you move the, the tool. So you're not pulling the skin. I have nothing to trim. I'm very lucky right now, but we'll see. We're going to do the full manicure to show you how this works and check it out. If you're interested, let me know if you've ever tried these tools. I'm very curious what your feedback is. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Check out the next video. Bye.